Welcome to Texas Telestrator presented by BMW, The Drive. Yes, we're going to take a look at the most impactful drive of each game. And last week against the Indianapolis Colts, there was really one that stood out to me. It was five plays, 75 yards. It went a minute in 46 seconds. Now, I would love to be able to tell you all that happened in a minute 46 just to show you how fast that drive actually was. We're going to dive into why each one of those plays was not only unique, but how they helped get to the fifth play, which was the touchdown to make it 21-16. to But this is coming right out after the Colts had scored a touchdown to make it 21-9. to Texans had to score. It was imperative that they score. Now, it wasn't imperative they scored in a minute 46. It just so happened that things were clicking, and because they were, well, let's go score in a minute 46. First play here, first and 10, ball at the minus 25 right here. And you'll see Hop out here, and here's Kiki right here, uh, and there's Kenny right there. So three receivers, Carlos in the backfield, attached tight end right here. Now, you're going to see a lot of smoke and mirrors with almost all the plays that Texas run, and that's fine. Because what's going to end up happening is that smoke and mirrors is going to catch number 53 right here, Darius Leonard, kind of in between two different players. And because of that, it's going to allow a completion on a slant route here to hop for about 14 yards and a first down on first down. So let's take a look at it, and you'll see eventually the Colts get in man coverage. They're going to man here. They're going to man up here. And what they're going to do is when Kiki goes in motion here, they're going to drop gathers there. So they're going to be in cover one. Safety going to go to the middle of the field, and they're going to man up everywhere else. So you see Deshaun send Kiki in motion. So they bump. He bumps down. He bumps to man. He goes to the middle. Gathers goes here, and they're going to lock up there. Leonard would probably have the back. This linebacker would probably have the back. So if Carlos bun out here, linebacker would go there. If Carlos came out here, then Darius would take him. Now, you don't have Carlos coming out over here. You have Kiki coming over here, and you'll see why that's important in a second. So when Kiki goes across in motion, tight end comes over here to take part of the blocking scheme, al Qadim Muhammad. So when Kiki goes out here, there's a man on him, Gathers. So Leonard gets caught right here. You can see what Darius does. At first, it's like, wait a second, I gotta, you got to play the run. So he does. But he makes a good read, and then he starts back, and he's going to end up in the passing lane here. But then he's like, oh, wait a second, I got to break down to go to Kiki, and he starts to break down. Look, that's where he makes the mistake. And when he pauses, look what his ball is thrown. Bang. Right through there into the hole to DeAndre Hopkins and away you go. So the motion from Kiki is really what pulled Leonard. He should have never done this. He should have dropped and looked up Hopkins, but he got caught with his eyes on Kiki. Gathers got caught on Kiki, and Watson throws a dime here to DeAndre Hopkins. Now let's take a look from the, the backside view, and you can see how the blocking looks. You can see what they're seeing when the ball snapped. Look when the ball snapped. Kiki in motion, fellas come across the block, play action fake to Carlos. A lot of stuff going on in here. Now you can see the window. There's the window. See it? Right there. Now because Leonard stepped this way to Kiki, what happens if he would have stepped right in here? Well, look at the narrow window there. But now it's a wider window here and here. Sean sticks it. First down. All right, let's go to the next play. First and 10. Now we're back in the same set, right? Same exact set we saw on first down. We're moving up tempo, so we catch him in the same Look, this looks like the exact same play, right? Well, Kiki's going to come in motion again. And now what are we going to do? We're going to take Max, and we're going to run a little power play. So we're going to block down here, block here, and then Carlos is going to pop and follow Max. This is a play the Texans ran at Kansas City last week. To a, They ran it with Duke Johnson, ran for about a 15-yard gain. So they go back to this play. Now, I want you to remember this for when we get down on the goal line. So let's take a look at this. Kiki. Gets caught here, and Darius Leonard this time is not going to get caught in motion, but his other linebacker does. His other linebacker is kind of caught, can't get out there, and so he's slow to get there. Max picks him up. Carlos darts inside five yards on first down. It's really where you want to be. When you're going up tempo, you just want to pick up yards on first down. Double team here. Fells there. Max coming around. He's going to pick up any trash. Kenny takes uh, Milligan here, and then Carlos is going to follow his big guard. Could have cut it here, but probably better he didn't. 
He follows Max, and look at that. Now you got a seam. Now you force the secondary guy to have to come and make a tackle. Good cut. Five yards. Excellent job. Let's go to the next play. Go run the ball again. Now we're running outside zone. Everybody see the offensive line just outside zone this way. And Carlos, outside zone path. He's got opportunity to either bounce it, bang it, or bend it. Three different things he can do with this play. And he's going to bang it. He takes a little hesitation step, which actually works perfectly. And watch Darius Leonard get picked off by Fells. Right? Watch this block right here. Watch Darren Fells and watch Leonard right here. Watch him get picked off on his block. He starts, he sees it, and then bang. See how he gets knocked inside? Now that slows Carlos for just a beat, but because Darren picks up that block, now Carlos has got a nice little cutback lane inside. Get inside, make the secondary have to tackle you. First down. Excellent cut. Good job up front. Let's take a look at the end zone view. You can see what we're looking at here. Outside zone, watch everybody step to the right. See everybody step to the right foot. We're just going to outside zone, and here comes Leonard. He reads it right away. But Rod's going to take care of this, which allows Fells to take Leonard. Carlos is going to hit that right there. Everybody's going to, Zach's going to get off the backside backer, and we got everything cut down. Look at this. Good, good block. Now he's got to hesitate for a second, but setting that up. Got that seal, and he's going to cut back in there. And make gathers have to come get him. Good block by Max, taking Grover Stewart downfield. Excellent job. First down, here we go. We can get back to the up-tempo again. First and 10, and now we're going to look up Kenny Stills. Now, this is a route we've seen the Texans run a lot before. Here, here, basically a scissors route. Kiki's going to go in over motion, going to fake this, fake this, step back, and then read what the defense is doing. Now, at first glance, for Deshaun, this looks like possibly cover six. And what cover six is, and some people call it different things. In college, I called, we were told to call this cover seven. But it's half, quarter, and quarter. So these two guys are playing a half, and these guys are playing quarters. At least that's what it looks like initially. But on the snap, when Kiki goes across, you can see flying in here. Safety's flying in there, and now they're going to try a matchup in cover one. We're going to try and match everybody up. Wills is going to have the back. Linebacker is going to have, uh, I think that's Kiki out there. Man up here, man here, and then safety going to the middle of the field. So route the Texans have run a bunch. They've got different layers off of it, depending on what they see. Well, in this case, they get cover one. Hop gets really good separation from Desir. I don't know if Desir thought he was going to get some help, but he doesn't. But Deshaun, Likes Kenny, because Kenny's pulling away from Rock Yassine. You see Deshaun here in the pocket. Everything's kind of going out in front of him and around him. It's a good pocket, kind of a weird pocket, I guess, because it's in front and back. But it gives him an ample space to step into this throw and then drop one right on Kenny, right where it needs to be, into the shadows, into the light. And then Kenny does a great job after the catch. Securing the catch, get across the field, Look at him pull away from Yassine. Safety out of position, doesn't know where to go to hop or to Stills, so he's kind of out of the play. Stills catches it, gets up the field, first and goal, and now we're moving. And we've only had the ball for about a minute and a half at this point. Take a look from the inside. See Kiki going motion again. That motion is going to do what? It's going to draw these guys. They're not really sure what to do, but you can see the routes develop here. There's Hop, there's Kenny. And here's your scene, and you don't even see 35 over here, but he's with Hop. Okay, but good pocket. Nice job here. Going to take Nico Autry up the field. Milligan came on a blitz that Laramie picked up. So now look at that. Everything's kind of around him, and Deshaun's kind of lonely, if you will, in the well. But that's what you want. If you got guys back here, that's fine. He's got room to step into this and then throw one and put it right on Kenny, who then, good stiff arm, get it down to the four-yard line. Now, the Texans are at the four-yard line. But let's go back a play, or a few plays, to the last running play that the Texans had, or the first running play on this drive. Remember this play? Max pulls, Carlos takes it and heads off, right? Remember this play? We showed this one. Good gain here, about five. Max seals this right here, and Carlos hits it, right? 
Remember how things kind of build off of one another? Well, keep in mind that play as we go to the play inside the four yard line. Now, we got to get into the light here, and here we are. Now, remember that play, because what do you think the run action is going to be on this play? Watch the interior line first. Uh oh, here comes Max coming on around. Here's Carlos. What are the linebackers thinking? Same play they just ran, right? Not really. Sean's going to pull this and run the option with Kiki in orbit motion. Now, why this works? Colts in man coverage here. So what happens is Hop is going to block this guy and essentially block this guy because he's in man coverage. So this guy goes with Hop and Hop blocks that guy. So these two guys are taken out by Hop, just one guy. They're going to pitch off him. So Deshaun's going to look at him, let Kiki get out here, and then flip it out here if that guy crashes, which he's going to. These guys don't play the option in the NFL, so that's what he's going to do. And you'll see Deshaun do that, right? And he's already sucked inside. He, he really, he should be pitching off this guy, but he ends up pitching off that guy, which is fine. Hop should have just put an ear hole on him. He got enough of him. That's fine. And that guy, because he's in man coverage, Desir has to go too far inside. He can't get out to Kiki. But here's the other key. It involves Kiki. Now, they're in man coverage. Watch how slow this defensive back is to react. See how slow that is? Kiki's all the way in the backfield. Look, he's all the way over here. And look where Kiki is. So when Kiki catches his ball, one-handed, mind you, he's all the way outside the numbers. Here's the guy who had him in man coverage. I'm going to trust my man 1-6 to get in the end zone at that point. And that's exactly what happens. So man coverage, Texans run the run action they showed earlier to freeze the linebackers, to get them going this way. Hop takes care of these two guys with man coverage. Pitch off the defensive end. Slow to get there in man coverage. Kiki scores a touchdown. It's excellent execution on the option play to get in the end zone. See it from the end zone view. And you can see that run action again. Look at these linebackers. They see it. They see Max going. So what are they thinking? Get out of Dodge, man. Same play. This guy's hunkering down because he knows Max is coming to get him. And he's going down the line of scrimmage because he just saw that play. But we're going the other way. Excellent play call, execution, everything you want inside the five on an option play. And then this catch by Kiki is outstanding. Look at that one-handed catch right out here. Great job. That was five plays in a minute 46. That was a heck of a drive. Need more of that the rest of the year.